हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वी वर डिस्कसिंग मॉडल नंबर सेवन ए इंग्लिश फॉर एडवर्टाइजिंग एंड वी हैव सीन ऑलमोस्ट टू मेजर पॉइंट्स और डिस्कस्ड ऑलमोस्ट टू मेजर पॉइंट्स वन इज ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड एडवर्टाइजिंग एंड इट्स मीनिंग एंड सेकेंड इज एडवर्टाइजिंग एंड इट्स मीडिया we have seen structure of advertising also and for uh, that uh, we have discussed on uh, two um, advertisements that is burgers advertisement and uh, another is uh, sony television advertisement now let us study the characteristic features of advertisement first characteristic uh, feature of the advertisement is slogans vande mataram bharat mata ki jay these are the slogans the slogans are equally important in the field of advertisement advertising slogans describes a brand or a company name company name should be there in the slogan or the brand name in the slogan should be there they express the importance and benefits of their product they are used everywhere from print media to online advertisements they are phrased in such a way that the customer or consumer is likely to remember them the slogans are framed in such a way that we should at least remember the product there are also short and epigrammatic in nature that is relatively are related to the nature generally slogans make use of initial capitalization or every letter capital this is the structure of the slogans sometimes each initial letter is capital in the slogan or sometimes whole letters of the slogans are capital important is words and short phrases or sentences there are some examples given in your in your textbook if you go on page number 100 you will come to know there are some slogans there is an important uh, product in cold drink sector you might have known the name of that product thumbs up what is the slogan of that thumbs up if you see the advertisement of that thumbs up you will immediately listen the slogan of that product and that is test the thunder whenever you see this advertisement you will definitely listen test the thunder thumbs up test the thunder test the thunder is a slogan of that product you might have seen perhaps i i am not confirm tata advertisement of tata safari what is the slogan of that tata safari reclaim the life you might have seen the advertisement of raymond textile raymond is a textile industry what is the slogan of that raymond the slogan of the raymond is the complete man in the same way there are many products canon is there hutch is there then kitkat is the there kitkat uh, cadbury you might have 
uh, heard uh, about the slogan of that Kit Kat is have a break, have a Kit Kat. Liz, Liz, Cripsy, potato chips, you might have eaten many times. What is the slogan of that Liz? No one can eat just one. What is the meaning of that uh, slogan? No one can eat just one. Means you cannot stop yourself by eating only one piece of that Liz. You will eat more. So there are some comparative phrases which are used in the advertisement slogans also. For example, things go better with coke. It is an advertisement of coke. The result smoother, firmer skin. You can imagine what kind of advertising is this. This is the advertisement of an, of an ointment you generally use on your skin. Persil washes whiter than white. This is the, all these are the examples of comparative phrases. used in the slogans. Persil washes whiter than white. Whiter than white. This is a comparison. More poke, less smoke. Let's make things better. So these are the slogans generally used comparing another thing with that product. So there is a comparison between two things. With the comparison, you can create such kinds of slogans in the advertisement of a particular product. Mind it well that whenever you uh, create such kind of an advertisement, you will definitely be aware about the product and its credibility. Credibility. Some slogans are catchy as they have been constructed in musical and poetic manner. There are some advertisements, there are some slogans which are catchy in manner and that is created that are created in musical and poetic manner. Here are some examples given on page number 101. When safety is first, you last. Second is think smart before you start. Lifting a breeze when you bend at knees. Shortcuts cut life short. A spill, a slip, a hospital trip. And electricity can turn you off. So these are the catchy kind of a slogans. Which, is, uh, which are constructed in a musical way, in a poetic way. So, the topic slogans, you can very easily understand with these examples. You can make or create various kinds of 
uh, slogans with the help of that type of examples. And there is a second point. The language of advertising. Now we are going to discuss uh, about the language of advertising. Language is a powerful tool of advertising. Since English is an international language, its use in advertising has become a familiar matter. Nowadays, we generally observe that in almost every small village or every home of the small village use a little English in their language. However, the effective use of English in advertising is a remarkable way to bring a great success to business organizations. If the business organization wants to achieve a grand success in their business, use of English language is quite essential and important thing in the advertisement of their products. Therefore, in advertisement, you have to use emotive words, the words with emotions, which may apprehend the attention of customers. The words used in the advertisement must appeal to the customers so that customers should come to you, buy the product. For that, you have to use various kinds of attractive language devices. To make use of effective language in advertisement or advertising, you have to be well acquainted with certain characteristics of language of advertisement. There are some characteristics given in the textbook for the language of advertisement unless and until you know the characteristics of language of advertising you will not use English language for the advertising it is not only sufficient your vocabulary but you must have the skill of use the words appropriate words in a very catchy way so that advertise become a successful one and the customers will attract towards you you means product and buy the particular product so it is quite essential to learn the characteristics of English language for advertisement in my next video, we will see the characteristics of advertisement and the use of language in the advertisement in my next video. Till then, thank you.